What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the side mirror cover for your W203. And with that, we will also be removing the side mirror itself and the indicator from the side mirror cover. And in doing so, we will also be removing the individual orange light bulbs in the indicator. <music> That's right, they are individual bulbs. Originally, I thought that they were going to be an LED bulb, but they are really small halogen bulbs. So I'm going to show you how to disassemble the side mirror cover so that you can get to these individual lights if you have to remove them. It's probably going to be easier to just remove the indicator itself and replace it, but if you only want to replace the light bulb itself, as it is very cheap to replace the light bulb itself, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. All that coming right up. What you need to do, guys, is you need to bend this mirror back, okay? Now, don't be alarmed. It has a spring here, so it is made to bend back and forth. And what you need to do is you go between the side mirror cover and this gold frame here. You need to go in between it, and you're going to see a little metal tab right there. You notice this tab here? You see? You can see it right there. I'm prying on it right now, okay? You need to pull that towards you, right there, that metal tab, and I'll show you guys a close-up in just a sec. But you need to pry it that way, so that it opens up. And once you have that loosened, it will loosen the whole side mirror cover. And then you can pull it off. But do not just pull it off. You need to take it off and then work it around your mirror. Okay, and there you go. That's how you remove this. Now, to show you guys, what I meant by this, this is the metal tab I'm talking about right here. That metal tab there pushes against this here, right there. All right, so once you have that removed, okay, what you need to do now is you need to remove this mirror. What I like to do is I like to take off this clip first because this helps to clip the mirror in. So we pull it down, lift it up over this, and then look at that. That's how that comes off. Once you have that pin removed, it's very easy to take off the mirror because it just comes off. You, you just pull it towards the front and then, and then push it down and look at that. The mirror comes off like that. And then all you have left are your two mirror plugs and you can just unplug them real easily. Okay, we just unplug them, one and two, and that is your mirror removed. The reason why we pull off the front first is because you have these two clips here, okay? There's one there. And there's the same clip on this side right there. And then at the bottom, it locks in via these two here. That one there, and that one there. That's why we pull off the top first, so that these two clips come undone first. And then because it's held in via these two clips here, we need to push it down so that it can slide out of those two clips. Your side mirror cover and your side mirror removed. Now, we're going to disassemble the side mirror cover so that I can show you how the indicator comes out and also how to replace the indicator bulbs if you ever need to do that. In order to remove the indicator from the side mirror cover, we need to remove these two Phillips head screwdrivers, screws, okay? So we'll start by removing one. That's one. We will remove the other. That's two. In order to remove this, pull this towards us. Okay, so you want to pull this out this way. And push on this here at the same time. So we pull and push. There we go. The purpose is to get this past your side mirror frame here and once it pa once it's past it we can just slide it on out like so next we're going to disassemble the indicator so that we can get to the bulbs okay there's a total of one two three six bulbs in the indicator in order to open up this indicator we need to pry one two three four five six seven eight nine tabs okay so we'll just pry these off slowly Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tabs pried. Make sure they're all off. This one's still on. Pry that off. And then once you pry all nine off, it will just simply separate like that. Flip this around and you can see your six orange halogen bulbs. These are very tiny ones. They're kind of like little T10 bulbs. I'm not sure of the actual size of these. They are definitely halogen bulbs, not LED ones. In order to remove this, it's really simple. Pull them straight out. So just grab on the bulb and then pull straight out. And that's that. And go, same goes for every single bulb. If you need to replace them, you pull it out, grab your new one, and then just push it back in. I'm not sure if they have to go in a certain way, positive and negative. So of course, be sure that before you put everything back together, plug it in, test it, see if all the light bulbs are working. Then you can put it, um, reassemble it and then put it back together. Plug in your new bulbs, plug this back into your car and see if the bulbs light up. Okay, so we'll go do that right now. Bring the indicator around to the car. We know that the indicator plugs in here and we'll plug that in for a trial test just to make sure that all the bulbs work. Okay, we'll now unlock the car and see if they all work. And voila, it all works. I'm just going to swap one bulb around and see if it still works. I'm just gonna swap one bulb around. Turn it the other way. Give that another test. Okay, so from that, we can see that it does not matter how the bulb is placed in, as long as it gets power, it will work. As you saw, I just flipped that bulb around, trying to make a difference between positive and negative and it did not matter whatsoever with that test done we can now put it all back together in order to put it all back together make sure you've lined up the bulbs where they belong then you just push it straight down and it will clip back over make sure all your clips are clipped on double check them all and that's it next we've got to refit our indicator into the side mirror cover you have to make sure that the indicator slides in first like that make sure it's flush it has to pass the side mirror housing so you push it on in so it can slide in without touching this part here. Make sure that it is flush along here. And once that is flush, you can push it on in and clip it in place like that. Double check it, ensure it's all flush, make sure it all lines up. All we have to do now is replace our two screws, put them in, start them by hand. Just get our screws started there. There we go. And now we will tighten both our screws. Just get in there nice and tight, snug. And that's it, you double check everything and you're good to go to reinstall it. Before we do that, I just wanted to point out that what you're trying to do to reinstall this cover is line up how the side mirror fits. Okay, so you wanna make sure this all lines up with the rubber gasket that sits between your the A pillar of your car and the side mirror itself. Line up where your clip is with this here because the clip will obviously clip down in here and then all you have to do from there is ensure that your mirror is lined up flush so that it can sit inside your side mirror cover and from there all you have to do is push it straight in and it will clip over the top and you will hear a click to confirm that it has been seated and that's it what you do need to do is install the, your mirror first if you don't install your mirror first you are not going to be able to reinstall this pin this securing pin so we need to install the mirror first and then we install the side case you don't have to install these wires yet because we can see everything but what's important here is to make sure that you line up these prongs inside here okay there's one at the bottom and there's one at the side they have to sit on the inside not the outside here they sit inside these two tabs here have to accompany these two tabs and then the two tabs up here in the top corner have to accompany the two up here so in order to fit this we need to make sure our silver prongs sit on the inside and we come in from the bottom okay and we have to make sure that we accompany those two tabs first and once you do that, you just push it straight in and it will clip back in like so. Once we've installed our mirror, we need to make sure we grab our pin and we need to install it, okay? And this is the way that it sits here. It sits in like that, it goes over 
under, over, and then back under. That's how that clips back in. All we have to do now is replug back in our mirrors, our heated mirrors, like this, and voila. All we have to do now, make sure you line up your, your mirror so that it's out of the way. Slide it over your mirror cover. What you're aiming to do, you want to line up your mirror flush, okay? Make sure that it is flush. And then, you need to slide your, your side mirror cover over your mirror without scratching it get it in position make sure you line it up all the way around and push it straight in and it will clip back into place watch you readjust your mirror so that it is sitting right and that's it your side mirror cover completely reinstalled and there you have it guys how to remove your side mirror your side mirror cover and the indicator from your side mirror cover i really hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads thanks again for watching this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off until next time guys